Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing fantastic. And today we got us another subscription box. Comes to us from Barrel and Blade. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That's right. Kick your feet up, sit back, relax, hang around for a while. And while you're down there, ring the notification bell to make sure you get notified. When I upload new videos like this, because I do a ton of unboxings on this channel of gear just like this. It's in this Barrel and Blade box. So with that, are you ready? Let's do it. All right, ladies and gents, we are back with Barrel and Blade, and this is a monthly subscription service, and if you are interested in this particular box, if this video has inspired you to want to check them out, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video for your convenience, because, you know, hey, I'm a nice guy like that, right? This particular service has two levels to choose from, a level one and a level two. The level one will run you around 50 bucks a month and the level two will run you about 100 bucks a month. We get the level two box. So you get to see kind of what their, what their best offering is, right? Yeah. Okay, so right on top we got a card, which I like to see because, ooh, man. I see some cool stuff in there. Yeah, because I don't like digging through the box looking for it. And what we got here, this is, what, Operation 80, tacked out. Woo, tacked out. We like that. That sounds good, man. We're getting off to a good supply. Man, I don't want to read it because it tells a lot of stuff they got. But on the back of the card, they do give you the, the description of the contents of the Level 1 and the Level 2 box. So you can see both of the offerings there. And also they have social media. What they got at, at Barrel and Blade Tactical. Uh, I don't know where on social media that is. It just says follow us on social. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. All right. So we're going to set that to the side and we're going to get into some stuff because I see some cool stuff. At least, oh man, I see a, they got a fat, an SOG fast hawk in there. I like that. We're going to check out what, what this is here in this cool little like olive drab green pouch. Let's see what's in here. Something's in here. What is this? Okay, that's a cleaning brush. Man, is this is this is this some kind of little cleaning kit? Oh, is, this, is this a field cleaning kit? Because that would be awesome. Because it's got one of these uh, oh my god, what is that? And that uh Alice clip, right? That's an Alice clip that's on there. Yeah. Yeah and this is this is a little field uh, cleaning kit for your particular pew pew yeah all right so we got a bunch of stuff you guys want me to take all this stuff out all right all right i'll take it all out god dog you don't have to yell at me some silica gel that we can eat okay so we have a pouch a thin pouch at the top a little thin pouch is you know collapsible uh, it folds up with velcro then the other one has velcro as well and it's a deeper pouch so it goes you know this thing's not big but it doesn't really need to hold a whole lot of stuff you got a brush Brush with some bristles on one end, some really more aggressive bristles on the other end. So yeah, you got a little brush. Then we got some little bore, bore cleaners here. Boy, that looks like it's for, what is that? That's weird, that's funky right there. Okay, so we got two of these, which you know you can obviously supplement this. So when, if you were to get this, you could stick some of your own personal supplies for your own particular platform. So yeah, and then we just got a, a snake. You know, it has all the rods. Thread them together, you know, do all that, do all that good stuff. So yeah, this is this is neat. Okay, so they give you a sort of like a field cleaning kit. They give you a little little squeegee bottle here. You can put some put some bore cleaner or maybe some some you know multi-purpose type uh, lubrication stuff, some you know anti-rust stuff or whatever. You can put whatever whatever makes you happy, whatever makes your heart content. You can stick in there, and the, the like I said, the pouch does Velcro. It Velcro's closed, and then it has these three snaps. So, it's not going to be waterproof or anything, but there's no points to affix on the back. There's just this one, and I hope I don't get roasted, because that looks like an Alice clip to me. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not an expert, so I don't know, but that, that's the only seemingly, atta that's the only attachment point on this. So, so yeah. Okay, so we got that. And man, did I take too long to do that? I think so. Okay, what we got here? GSM. What is this? I need my glasses. 
What do we got here? What is this? S silicon putty earplugs. Oh, this is Walkers. Okay, this is some some ear ear protection that is very hard to open. Why is it so hard to open? It's not hard to open. I'm just being I'm being me. I'm doing a me. Okay, so this is funky stuff. I don't use these type type of these type of things because they, they're weird to me. But these things are putty. They're they're putty, and you you know you you take the putty, which feels weird, and just just messing with it. And you you know you make you can make a a little ball, and then you can smush it out and elongate it, and then you can put it in your ear. I don't like it. I don't I don't like using this stuff. I just like over the ear muffs. It's just me, but you know I, I know I know some people do like this this stuff, and it's just not me. I, I don't really like it. It it's, says it still does you know a 20 dB noise reduction, so you're going to get kind of along the same lines as most earplugs, most over the ear muffs. You're going to get the same amount of protection, at least according to them. You're going to get 20 dB. So yeah, there you go. You can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. That's what I think about the putty. Okay, so this is an SOG, very small, fast hawk. Durable, glass, reinforced nylon handle, includes a nylon carry sheath, has a lifetime warranty. Yeah, like that. Okay, so the blade length is two inches. So it's two inches this way. Then it's 19 ounces of overall weight, and it is 12.5 inches overall length this way. Okay. It is a blade steel of uh, 420-RC 51-53 is what we're working with. And it does have a little nylon type sheath. And it does look really cool. And I, I dig the handle. You know, I dig whatever the, this handle is. It doesn't feel... It says uh, durable glass reinforced nylon. But, it, but it's, you know, it feels like you, you have decent purchase. But then again, this thing's not big. So it's not that big, so you don't really need a whole lot to keep, you know, it's not like this thing is, you're going to, you know, you're going to do this, and it's just going to whoop, come out of your hand and go flying, because it doesn't weigh that much. So, yeah. And I do like the, the striker on the other side of the sharp edge. You do have kind of like a, a striker there that you could, you can mess some stuff up. You can mess something up. So yeah, the, the, you know, this is something that I would put that me personally, and you can let me know in the comment section down below, I would put this in a category of like a pack hatchet or something like that, you know, because this is something that can very easily go on the side, you know, of your, I don't know why I'm doing this, but you know, if, you, if I had a pack on, it could go on the side and, you know, you could have it, you know, on some Velcro or some kind of quick release system. So if you needed to go to this in a hurry, you know, you, it's right there on your pack and yeah, so so yeah, you know, I, I don't know, you know, SOG stuff, you know, I know people, I know people have their opinions on SOG as a brand because it is one of those brands that is really heavily commercialized and it's like everywhere. And a lot of people, I know I've seen a lot of people talk kind of bad about SOG stuff. You know, I, I don't, I don't really know because I fall somewhere in the middle, you know, and again, my sort of perception of a lot of these items is what is the cost and then does the cost justify the quality and the expectation of the item because obviously you know i'm not going to put something like this up against you know well i thought i had one of my pack axes right there or my pack hatchets i'm not going to put this up against something that way that costs like 300 bucks and expect this thing to outperform it. I'm, I'm just not. That, that's not really being realistic. Anyway, I'm not trying to detour this, but you know, I said all that just to say I don't really have a problem with SOG products and stuff like this. You know, without seeing someone really take it out in the field and use it and really, because the only way you can really get a really good idea of an item like this is to literally have somebody take it out and make it fail, because you need to see what. What, what is the extreme environment that it needs to be placed in for it to fail? And I'm not in the habit of destroying things, especially things that are paid for. Now, if, if some company wants to give me some stuff and say, hey, just see what this can do and tear it up, I'll, I'm all, I'll be all about it. But, you know, that's just me. I don't know. So the people that go out there on YouTube, and there's a lot of them on YouTube, man. They'll take knives out, man. They'll... 
they'll do all the most extreme stuff with them. And those are good videos. You know, they really are because you can say, you know, well, well, there's no way that I'm going to, to do those actions with that particular piece of kit. But it's nice to know where the range is. It's, it's nice to know that, that, yeah, you know, hey, this knife, you know, I don't know, I could cut a, you know, a steel fence with it if I needed to, you know, but I'm never going to do that with it. But if I needed to, I seen a dude on YouTube do it and the knife held up. That kind of thought process, you know what I'm saying? And man, I detoured that like we went way left with that. And that's okay because I know a lot of you guys in the comment section will probably jump aboard that kind of weird thought process I just went down and probably agree with me that, you know, it is good to see what products can do, can be pushed to fail, you know, so you know uh, what, what the extreme environments these products can operate in. So that's always good. Okay, we got something from Condor. So this is going to be, you know, some, another one of these products like the SOG. I've seen people not this stuff because this is the kind of stuff you can buy. Man, you can find this stuff all over Amazon. Sorry for the interruption, but I got some footage that went haywire. I don't know what happened. So I'm having to kind of re-record this. Okay, so we're looking at this Condor drop leg platform. And this, this is just something that if you need, you know, if you really need a large piece of molly on the side of your leg, this is, this is the piece of gear for you. You know, it does have the belt loop up here. So, you know, like normal. And then you got your two leg straps here. And the one thing that it, to me about this, this particular piece of gear is the backing. And because most, most of the drop leg platforms that I have, they have in a, a, a so, sort of like an elastic band or they'll have stuff like this, but this is sewn in that you can, you can take it off right? You can pull this off. And to me, all this is Velcro. So, you know, I, I don't know what Condor's thinking was with, with this, with being able to pull this off because that kind of defeats the purpose of having it be a drop leg platform. Because for it to be a drop leg platform, you need to have these. So I'm not quite, I haven't put a lot of thought into it because, you know, but I'm, I'm curious as to why they have this where you can take all this off the back side that goes against your leg. So I don't really understand the thought process behind that, but you got two leg straps and you got this really big piece of molly, which is good. You know, it, like I said, if you need this, if you need to move stuff off of your main rig onto this, you can do it. You can put, you know, you know, if you need to, whatever supplemental gear that you think you need, not on your main rig, you know, in the front here or on the side, but you need, hey, I need to move some stuff to my thigh, right? This thing has got you covered. It's a big, wide piece. You can see how wide this piece is. And certainly, it's going to be, it's going to look really strange on me because I got some chicken legs. So, you know, this is going to wrap around half my leg. So, yeah, however you feel about that. But like I said, if you want to get some stuff, like if you need to free up some real estate on the front of your rig, or, you know, maybe this is, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Because for me personally, I carry, you know, combat rig plus combat belt. So my, my, my secondary is on my combat belt and my IFAC is in my back. So I don't personally, this is me personally, I don't carry stuff on my, on my chicken legs. I just don't. I carry stuff either, and sometimes I don't even run stuff on my sides, you know, because, you know, I don't get down that crazy. But if I needed to, I could. But long story short, if you were in the market for a Molly platform that goes on the side of your thigh, this thing has got you covered. Like I said, I don't quite understand the reasoning behind making the straps where they come off because then you're kind of defeating the purpose of having this. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I personally don't have a need for a piece of kit like this, but you know, I don't know. It could be crazy. Okay. So like I said, segment got, got kind of all warbly and like I was taking you guys into the twilight zone. So I'm going to cut the, I'm going to cut the video back in now. So it happens. What can you do? Right? Okay. Condor. Tactical response bag. Okay. Now I know what this is. Because it's a bag. I get I get 
that that is a bag. So I know I know what to do with a bag. And people looking at the video right now going, really? Do you? Do you? Do you know what to do with a bag? Because you don't know what to do with a, a holster, uh, a, a, what is a drop leg platform. Yeah, I know what to do with a bag. And the bag's got a lot of pouches. So we got pouch here, pouch here, pouch here, pouch here. Side pouch here that has uh, some bungee, some little bungee cords on it. Same, mirrored on this side. The pouches are not mirrored, okay. So on this side, we have a very, very shallow compartment here on the bottom. Okay, very shallow compartment on the bottom that zips up. And let's see, we got some, got some nice zipper pulls. The zippers are not lined. You know, they don't, they don't have the water, the waterproof flap over them. They're, they're exposed, which is okay. These are all Velcro, correct? Yes, these are all Velcro, all Velcro, all Velcro. Okay, and then we got a, like an admin pouch right here. And we got a big old piece of Velcro on here that has the corresponding piece of Velcro stuck to it. That I can do, I guess, whatever I want with this. I could sew this onto another pack and then stick it on here okay and then we have a just another little pouch right here that is behind okay and then we got a little clasp here that's sewn into the handles to keep the handles together okay we got a shoulder strap inside okay that's cool it's got a nice shoulder pad I like seeing that uh, let's see we got a divider okay this is just a big chasm it's a big chasm, but it does have a divider. It has a divider. Does the divider come out? Uh, yes. The divider is Velcroed in, so we can pull the divider out. The divider does not have pockets. It doesn't have pockets or anything. It's just a divider, but it's a pretty big bag. So here you go. So it's a, it's a nice size bag. Th this is a, what, what did they call this thing? They probably called it something ridiculous. What do they call it? I forgot. I done forgot. A tactical response bag. I would expect nothing less. I would say that's a tactical response bag. What makes it tactical? Well, it's black. So it looks stealthy. But I tell you what, in good condor fashion, I'm not gonna knock condor because I got a lot of condor stuff. So don't 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 go don't jump out the window. But got a bunch of frayed, a bunch of frayed stitching here. And you know. It is what it is. Feels heavy. Feels like some heavy material. It does not feel like it's waterproof. It feels like this thing, this bad boy, would soak up some water. So I probably wouldn't want that. Oh, and I just noticed it has a pin, like a pin compartment right here and right there. So it does have, oh, this is a little bit bigger. Okay, this is a like a pin size. This is, this is one finger. This is two fingers. Don't make that weird. Giggity giggity. Okay. Okay, so that's it. That's all we got. Okay, so this is the tacked out pack. Operation number 80. Okay, so I'm going to read the breakdown now. It says, being tacked out means you're kitted with gear enabling you to respond tactically to any situation. Demanding such a response. Uh, we wanted to focus on a grab and go style kit that we could, that could reside in your vehicle or home and be something you could deploy quickly. Okay, we may not always have time to get dressed out in our finest plate carriers and bump helmets before responding to an event. That's very true because I'm telling you something. If if something goes down and I'm asleep, I'm running out with my underwear on. Just saying. Nevertheless, you still need some essentials on hand, all of which can fit into the tactical response bag we featured in both levels this month. Okay, so that's cool. So if you got the level one bag or the level the level one box or the level two box, you got the tactical response bag. So that's kind of cool. Okay, uh, we prefer to stuff ours with mag pouches, a field cleaning kit for our rifle, water bottle, first aid supplies like a tourniquet and some Israeli bandages, etc., a flashlight and more. We hope this month's gear serves you well in any scenario where a tactical response is needed. Now, let's talk about 
some prices because this is one of the few boxes that I get that they still give me prices. Whether or not those prices are grounded in reality, that's what you guys are for because you guys always tell me what's up, especially Pew Prep Track. He gives me a full Amazon stock breakdown of the prices and I greatly appreciate him. And hopefully, let's see, it's starting to warm up because I, I, I forget to turn this thing on and I tried to turn it on, you know, as I'm getting ready to film the videos, it didn't work out. Okay, so we got the SOG Fast Hawk. It says that this, uh, these are faster, lighter, more agile and easier to carry than most other Tomahawks. What was I calling it? I was calling it a pack hatchet, I'm sorry. I was looking for the word Tomahawk. Tomahawk. Okay, it says it's powerful, versatile, and functional. Well, I would certainly hope so. It is a tool that can be used for much more than you might anticipate. Chopping, breaking, cutting, hammering, piercing, digging, prying, pounding, shaving, notching, opening, and throwing are all capabilities well within its reach. That's a lot. That's some good marketing flim flam, though. I will tell you that, man. Like, you need whoever wrote this, you need them to write your Tinder profile. Because, man, that, that's a whole lot of farfig nougat, man. They'll talk you up, man. You'd be having girls contact you left and right. Okay. It says it's 420 stainless steel head with a hard cased black coating. Okay. It's mounted on what? To the ballistic polymer handle and heavy duty bolts and a steel ferrule to ensure the strongest integrity side hammer side hammer checkering ensures precision placement when swinging carried in a nylon sheath that can be mounted to belt backpack or gear it is a universal tool for the modern man i'm telling you man whoever wrote this for sog they did they need to start writing profiles for dating apps man they'd have you guys man you man women be falling over y'all god dog $60.95. See, now it's not so funny. Now we just got serious. $60.95 for the SOG Fast Hawk. All right. There you go. So technically, you if that price is correct, if you got the level one box, you only pay $50 for the box. And so you already got your, your money's worth, you know, more than your money's worth out of just this one item. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Drop leg panel. $23.95. Okay, $23.95. So let that simmer. $23.95. 24 bucks. Okay, these are designed to give you the ability to access gear that was normally mounted on your belt while you are wearing thick upper body armor, entry armor, chest rigs, etc. You can mount your favorite holster to it, allowing for a, cl a cleaner draw stroke, especially if seated. You can mount your IFAC comms extra mag pouches or anything else okay now we are going to move on to the tactical response bag 47.95 okay so 48 bucks we have the tactical response bag it's a great way to get organized for any emergency preparedness situation having a great amount of divided pre-divided compartments gives you a quick way uh, to fix your essentials it comes with a concealed universal pistol holder in a hidden hook and loop compartment. What? 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 Where's, where's this hidden hook and loop compartment? What? 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 Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold, hold up. Wait a minute. I want to find this, this, this hook and... Oh, it's in the middle. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the divider... The divider has a little section that's about yay wide that you, you could... Okay, okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's black, but there, there's a little, there's a little compartment right there on the divider that you could, you could stick, you know, you could stick a, a, a sidearm in. Okay, Very, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, it features all the adjustable side pockets, two pin pockets, one tactical flashlight pocket, four accessory uh, pockets, hook and loop closure, zipper, comp two zipper compartments, removable padded shoulder strap, and even a concealed carry compartment. Very, fair enough. $48. There we go. All right, moving on. The Walker silicon silicon earplugs four dollars. 
they say on here it gives you 22 decibels. On here it says 20 decibels. I don't know who's who's trying to lie to me, but 20 decibels on here, 22 decibels on here. We're going to go, okay, $4. If you like these, you know, you got them. If you know, like me, I've got people that do like them. I use over-the-ear muffs, just me, my own personal preference. So, you know, if you like them, cool. Then we got the Rothko Field Cleaning Kit for $27. Wow, 27 bucks. okay. It says, these field cleaning kits are perfect for keeping uh, the essentials you need to service your rifle on hand without lugging around your large cleaning kit. So, yes, it definitely will do that. It says this kit is made specifically to service a 223-556 caliber firearm. Inside, you'll find a bore brush, a chamber brush, five-piece assembly rod packaged with a refillable oil bottle that you can fill with your oil of choice or whatever, you know, other, you know, multi-purpose cleaner you want to put in there. There you go. You can also supplement it because there's plenty of space. $27 for this. Man, that, that sounds like a bit. That sounds like, that sounds like a, a lot. That sounds like a, a, a bit. A bit. A bit, a bit much. All right, guys, that's what we got for barrel end blade operation number eighty tacked out. We got you know tactical bag, uh, uh, a a Molly type situation uh, pad that you can put on your leg, on your you know your, on your hip, your thigh, whatever. So you got that. Then we got this SOG fast hawk. We got the little cleaning kit, and we got the silicon earplugs. What do you think for a hundred bucks? Because six, well, we we got well. If these prices are right, we got well over a hundred dollars worth of stuff. So yeah, sound off in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this box from Barrel and Blade, Operation Number Eighty, tacked out. What do you think? Do you like it? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Thumbs up for the video. No thumbs down. Thumbs up for the video. Okay, that's it, guys. That's all I got. Uh, hope you hope you enjoyed the video. You know, this is interesting. Interesting interesting box this month you know to get some rothko gear which like i said it's the stuff you can you can find pretty easy on amazon but nonetheless you know some people like it a lot of people like it i don't have a problem with it it's just you know you got to meet your expectation you know you're not going to drop into a foreign country you know with this kind of stuff just saying you know all right so that's it please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit that thumbs up on the way out the door if you don't mind i'd really greatly appreciate it and don't be a stranger make sure you come back to watch these all you know these other videos that i put out okay i'm gonna ramble a little bit so if you stay past this point it's on you because you've been warned all right that's it that's all i got for you all right now if you're hanging out we're gonna ramble for just a little bit okay all right so hope everybody's been doing well and i, I really do like uh, a lot of you guys commented, you know, about me, my my time away and coming back. I, I really agree, uh, greatly appreciate all that. You know, it's it's the reason why I love I love doing the the YouTube videos. You know, because you guys you guys are really awesome, and really, you know, I do these videos for for you guys. So yeah, let's see. I got some bad comments too. It's okay. Dennis says, "Awesome video. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the Sportsman Guide. Thank you. Uh, thanks for a video of Sportsman's Guide. Okay, so this was the Sportsman Guide video of all the ammo that I that I that I purchased and stuff. So yeah, every, uh, Ghost Scout says, uh, good to see you again. All right, and you like to hear them stories. Yeah, yeah. I said I'd, I'd tell some stories, and I, I may I may do a live stream. So you know, if you guys want to pop in and and that way you can you know ask me any questions or react to it, I'm probably going to do it that way." John says, nice haul. I just renewed my membership and got in some ammo and a new pistol. All right. I love some of the military surplus deals they have. Yeah, you know, to me, Sportsman's, Sportsman's Guide is kind of it's kind of like the, the catch-all, you know, because they sell so much stuff. You know, I mean, they sell, they have, generally, they have really good prices on ammo, and they have a little bit of everything. So it's kind of like just one website I can go to. And check their inventory to see what they have. And, and they have a little bit of everything. Mike, Half Moon Mullins. Woohoo, we've missed you. Hey, man, I've missed all of you guys. I've missed all of you guys. And I'm glad all of you, you know, came back <laughs> came back and, and watched the videos. Let's see. John's Long Mustache. Hey, man, I use AIM Surplus for factory ammo. Mid-South Shooter Supply. Yeah, yeah, and not just for reloading stuff. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I go to... Uh, I go to old Natchez too for uh, reloading stuff because they generally uh, they have a really good selection. You know they got a they carry a lot of inventory. So yeah, I, I deal with them as well. 
Let's see. Uh, welcome back. The Cross You Out podcast. Interesting. I'm going to check your channel out because if, if you got a name like that, you obviously got a, got a channel. It says, Welcome back. It's crazy. If it's just you editing and posting videos, I know uh, it can just take time and enjoy. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it is just me. I mean, I am a one man operation here, but to be fair, really, it's, it's not that hard. It's just, you know, time. You know, it's just time. That, that's the big thing. Uh, let's see. Brian McDonald says that's something else I can't have delivered is loaded ammo. You can get individual components. Man, where do you live, bro? Where you live? Local state laws are a downer for responsible owners here. Must be California, because California, I think California, did they make it where you couldn't get ammo delivered and then something happened in the legislature and then you could do it? And then I, I don't know if it was flip flopping back and forth or not. Let's see. I also have Lapua 308 brass. All right. Yeah, man. I love Lapua brass. I just love I just love the Lapua brass because you know the you know the re you know shooting it over and over you know I I tend to get more life out of the Lapua cases than some of the other cases, but it's just me you know my dad my dad loved Lapua so you know just by extension of that you know that's kind of what he bought and that's what I was reloading so I just always stuck with it and Lapua has never given me a reason to switch or to try out another brand so. Yeah. 5.56 five, medium. Hey, what's up, buddy? Love me some sportsman's guide. Indeed. Cliff says, glad you're back and hope you're doing well. I am doing well. I'm doing as I'm doing as good as I can be doing. Which is to say I try to have a positive outlook every day. I try. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. But for the most part, you know, I try to I try to do good. Okay, so everybody is really sounding off on the knife. The knife that's right there in that box that we're going to be giving away this coming Sunday. So it's nice to see that video getting the engagement. I really appreciate it. And somebody's going to win it. And right after that, I'm going to take a little bit of time uh, off of the giveaway, you know, maybe a week. And I'm going to get into to the other knife. And I've got another knife. So we are outside of this giveaway that's currently running. There are two more giveaways on the horizon that we're going to get to okay so that's it you know everything's everything's going good you know we're trucking along like normal but i hope all of you guys are doing good you know i uh, i really hope uh hope everybody's positive and and you know you know hope everybody's doing good so with that guys i hope you are all doing well continue to do well and i will see you guys in the next one peace